Hi guys, welcome back to the 12 days of foundation. We're on day number eight, I can't believe it. If you missed it, I'm reviewing 12 foundations in 12 days. If you did miss it, the first seven days will be linked down below because I've actually had a few of you say like, oh my God, I didn't realize this was happening or YouTube unsubscribed me, I was doing all kinds of stupid stuff. So anyways, the first seven days are linked down below if you're looking to binge some foundation content. Today we are chatting about a foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, huge fan. Um, the powder and I've really begun to love a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury products that I've tried over the past year, year and a half or so. So let's go ahead and get started. So this foundation retails for $44 American, $53 Canadian, comes in 44 different shades, which is amazing. And I think the reason I didn't try a lot of Charlotte Tilbury is I always felt like their shade ranges were lacking but because they've started extending their shade ranges. I've tried a lot more products and have been really, really impressed. So super excited to see that this comes in so many different shades. It also um, lists as having like, it has the numbers, but then it also has like cool, warm, neutrals to help you try and choose your shade. I will say when I was in Sephora, I swatched so many shades trying to figure out my shade. Uh, I did, just, I don't know, I just like, sometimes when there's so many shades, you're like, I don't know, this one's pretty good, but this one's pretty good, but this one's pretty good. So if you can get into a Sephora and get a sample, I always recommend that. You can also find uh, this at Holt Renfrew, a few different retailers it is, uh, available at if you can get into store to find a sample that is always the best case scenario because this does claim to be full coverage so you want to get a pretty good match on it it also says that it is matte it says that it is uh, stays all day and night so it's supposed to be super super long wearing uh, and beautiful packaging I mean Charlotte Tilbury is just like makes you feel like you're some luxurious old-timey woman with like a silk robe with feathers on the end you know that one that you ever see it's like a meme I think it's like I want to wear this robe when they come to tell me that like what is it? It's something about like being a divorcee or a widower and it's just like this really glamorous robe. Anyways, totally beside the point. <laughs> um, but this does have claims to be super long wearing, but also very flawless, poreless, etc, etc. And I feel like that's kind of different for Charlotte Tilbury because they do a lot of like models and celebrities who need very little product but that being said i think that gives you opportunity to use this product in a bunch of different ways you can use like only one pump for a little bit of light coverage or because it does claim to have the full coverage in there you can build it up to something more full so i have two shades for you today uh so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch these on my face for you i should remove my band-aid that's probably gross right i don't know it's i cut myself in literally the stupidest way yesterday so i was doing uh my skincare and I was getting ready to put on my facial oil. This is shade nine, cool. And I dropped it and I was like, no, cause I thought the glass was gonna break. Like it's a glass facial oil and it didn't break. So I was like, yay. And then I picked it up and <laughs> went to twist off the lid. And I don't know for like, I've used this one a bunch. Uh, so I don't know what happened, but I went to twist off the lid and the bottom like rim of the lid like slit my finger open couldn't believe it. I was like, I've never been so deceived in my life. So here we have number nine, cool. And then we have number 10, also cool. So I think you can see it's starting to oxidize slightly. There's not a huge difference in shades there. Um, I've worn nine and then 10 was sent to me. So I will have a full face. I'm going to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury today for the most part. And I filmed a little one, a one like a couple weeks back that's yet to go up on Instagram. I just have so much stuff to post on Instagram. So stay tuned for those. Uh, I'm going to go with nine today because it's the shade that I've worn. And I found with bronzer and concealer and everything, it tended to look pretty good. I think you could get away with 10 too. So I pumped out two pumps of product. As I've talked about before, I really enjoy a more medium coverage foundation and something that is more natural over matte. But I, oh shit, that's an old dirty sponge. I was like, why is that sponge so <laughs> not bouncy? <laughs> I was like, that sponge isn't wet. Um, but yeah, I tend to prefer something more medium coverage, something more natural finish, but I feel like with matte um, and full coverage foundations, you do have that flexibility, like I mentioned in the beginning, to just use less product. Like I feel like for some reason, when a product is full coverage, at least for me in the past, I tend to use more product, but I think with a full coverage product, you're able to use less, get good coverage, and especially if something is matte, you'll still have that 
kind of more long wearing. So as you can see, it doesn't go on like super stark matte and I'm only gonna use two pumps today. You don't get a ton of product in a pump and we'll see how it goes. I've got some spots over on this side as the British would say, I think. <laughs> um, but it does a good job like covering up. And I'm using a sponge, which of course is gonna lessen the coverage a little bit. I'm not using too much product and I'm actually getting a blowout later today and um, we'll be able to see how it goes with like hair washing and stuff. Like I'm not going to do any kind of extra precautions for that. So we'll have to give it a little bit of leniency because I will be like getting my hair washed and stuff. But also it'll really put it to the test if it stays all day, stays all night. What if I'm like, you know, one of those Charlotte Tilbury supermodels that they always are doing makeup on. I've got to go get a blowout in the middle of the day and then, you know, I've got to walk a show at night because that's my life, you know? Slash, I'm gonna go get a blowout and come home and do nothing, <laughs> even though it's a Friday. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come home and film videos because my hair is gonna look good. I've been doing like, I love my curls, but I find in the winter time, sometimes it's a little bit easier with hats and stuff. I don't know, I just really enjoy mixing it up. So I think you can see it gives a really beautiful coverage. It's not completely matte, which, is like okay in my opinion. <laughs> it depends on if you're picking this up. I'm gonna let it set on my face a little bit just so I can show you. But also, uh, like I said, I'm wearing the shade 9 Cool, which ends up about smack dab in the middle of the shade range. There's about equal shades below me as there are above me, which is really important because sometimes shade ranges can be like, oh, we have 30 shades, but maybe they're all really light or maybe they're all really dark. So for me, I think that in the grand scheme of things, my skin tone should be ending up somewhere in the middle because although I have deeper skin, I'm by no means very deep because there's people who have like fair skin who like tan to my skin color. So I kind of end up, I feel like I should be somewhere in the middle. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take some flash photos, put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Uh, as you can see, like it definitely needs to be, to be set in my opinion. And I think I talked about this in a recent review, but when like Urban Decay says matte, it's very matte, but when Charlotte Tilbury says matte, I feel like it's a different matte because all of her products are like so glowy that this would be considered matte in their shade, in their kind of range of products, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take those photos, put on the rest of my makeup, like I just said, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I had initially planned on using the Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder uh, for this review as well because I love those powders. I have worn it in combination in the past with this foundation, but I kind of said I was going to use the same powders with every foundation that I'm wearing over the next 12 days, so I decided to go that route instead. Um, but like I said, this is not a first impression, so I'll, I'll chat about that at the end. But otherwise, I think things look really, really good. Stay tuned to see the rest of this be applied to my face. As always, everything else will be listed down below if you're curious to see what else is on my face, but I think things look really, really good. I mean, I definitely look made up. Like, I don't look, obviously, like I'm not wearing any makeup, but I do think that the look is pretty cute. And I think in photos here in my lighting, I think you can see the shade match is pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of a sheen to my skin. It never really dried down to like a whole, a whole like matte finish. I wasn't gonna wait like 10 minutes because I just, that's not what I would do realistically. And then in flash photos, I thought it looked good. I don't think it looks fantastic, but I do think it looks good uh, in the flash photo. Nothing major flashing back. And something else that I forgot to note that I thought was kind of interesting, uh, this formula is not only cruelty-free, but it's also vegan, which I didn't kind of expect from Charlotte Tilbury, I feel like. But yeah, things look really, really good. So I will continue to wear this for a few more hours. Check back with you in some natural light. Okay, I'm just getting ready to head out the door to my hair appointment. Oh, the sun is out, wow. Who would have thought? Turn the brightness down. Um, but I think things look good. My oils have started to push through a little bit, but I'm not gonna blot, I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, and yeah, I think it feels really comfortable. I mean, it's a bit uh, of a full coverage foundation, so like I said earlier, it doesn't have like the most natural look, but it doesn't look uh, heavy or cakey in my opinion. It just is more full than what I'm you know, normally used to wearing lately anyway. So I'm gonna head to my hair appointment and I will be right back in like six hours. Okay, I am back. Hair looks very different. Love a good, fresh blowout. Um, but like I said, I, I didn't mention to my stylist or anything to not touch my hair or to not touch my hairline. So you can see I lost a little bit of coverage, but like she was going in there for the scalp massage and I certainly was not gonna tell her to hold back. So I think that things look really good. I am a little bit shiny and I feel like, um, 
it looks less kind of flawless than it did in the beginning because when you get a little bit shinier at least for me anyways I feel like my texture and my pores start to show a little bit more so I think that this would be a really good option for those of you who are looking for something that's quite full coverage but you don't like a matte foundation but you also don't want it to be something that's too dewy and you want it to be long wearing I feel like a lot of the time full coverage foundations that are long wearing tend to be more on the matte side and although this does say it's matte and it is maybe a natural matte it's definitely not as matte as other foundations so if you're looking for it to be something like crazy oil controlling I don't think that's necessarily going to be the case of course your primer your powder and your setting spray are going to play a factor there too you can always block um I still think it looks really good by no means does it look like it's like slipping off of my face or super shiny or anything like that um but I just don't think that it's as matte as some of the other foundations that are out there but I think it's a really great option I love how many shades are in there um I enjoy the way that that it looks and uh, the only other thing to note is that it does oxidize I think slightly right after you put it on your face not like throughout the day so something to keep in mind like always if you can get a sample of a high-end foundation I definitely definitely recommend that but yeah I think if you have like combo normal skin and you're looking for something long wearing that's not going to be too matte I think this is a really really good kind of uh option that's going to be a little bit more long wearing than perhaps some of the other natural foundations that are out there but yeah I think it looks really good and that is the end of today so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye